King Charles House is preparing for visitors with the announcement of an exciting change. The King opens the grounds, gardens and galleries of his Scottish home. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything about the British royal family. As King of England, Charles owns a number of majestic homes, steeped in history. One of them is Balmoral Castle in Scotland which will be open to the public from March 23rd, until Sunday August 11th. According to an exciting announcement. The doors of the Aberdeenshire-based castle open every year for the public to enjoy. The historic grounds were open last year from April 1st through July, meaning those planning to visit this year will have many days to choose from King Charles acquired ownership of the castle in 2022 after the death of his late mother, Queen Elizabeth, who inherited the estate from her father. The estate is now managed day to day by trustees under deeds of nomination and appointment. The castle was first purchased in 1852 by Prince Albert for Queen Victoria after she first rented it in 1848. The royal couple had never been inside the property before they moved in, but it became one of their most expensive residences, as it was for Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. After purchasing the land, Prince Albert decided to build a new castle because he considered the original structure too small for the royal family. The new commission was completed in 1856 and the old building was then demolished. Queen Elizabeth has visited Balmoral since her childhood, and it has been widely reported that she felt most comfortable in nature there, something made easy on its 500,000 acres of lush grounds. Balmoral was also where the late Duke of Edinburgh proposed to his bride, and where they honeymooned in 1947. Elizabeth became queen in 1952. The royal family would travel to Balmoral and stay there from July to October each year. The Scottish retreat became the site of the annual Gillies Ball which provided an opportunity for castle workers to let their hair down. This tradition dates back to the Victorian era, where the king decided to hold a party to thank the staff for their hard work during the summer which was named after the Gaelic word for groundskeepers. In 1991, a documentary film crew was allowed into the ball, and the late Queen was captured on film dancing the night away with Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Princess Diana, and the Queen Mother. The Queen was seen wearing the traditional tartan sash, and the beautiful girls of Great Britain and Ireland crown. A touching photo of the late Queen and her husband was shared before his death in 2021, in which they were seen embracing in the pastures of Quills in Muick. It was fitting, then, that the Queen should spend her final days there. The last female Prime Minister signed from her Scottish home after Boris Johnson resigned, and it was where she died on 8 September 2022. In the same year, it was reported that King Charles was considering turning the property into a museum in memory of his late mother. Now, the Balmoral grounds are only open to the public in certain months during the winter, allowing members of the public to enjoy a relaxing walk in the grounds, view the exterior of the castle, and visit the Muse gift shop and cafe.